here. Coming to the white flag. One to go. Two and a half miles do. left. Three and four. They're trying to create your little gap. Still single file. Got one by itself out of line. At the back here. Just get your try and get your little gap. Five back to the second lane. Not going anywhere. 24 with you. Still just keep that 24 in your mirror. Right with you here. Legacy's being patient. Is this the right thing to do? Look at it. Creating that gap we talked about. Opening. Inside 24. Inside 24. Ben Rhodes. Ben Rhodes trying to get a run. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Rhodes trying to get a run on the outside. Can Sauter hold him off? Here they come. Inside 24. Rhodes trying to get a run on the outside. Can Sauter hold him off? Here they come through the tri-oval. Sauter holding back Haley. And Johnny Sauter is going to win the season opener at Daytona. Myatt Snyder and Johnny Sauter. Snyder with two tires on the inside. Sauter with four on the outside. And here comes Brent Moffitt the for the lead. Moffitt in the 16. Three wide here in the middle. Three wide behind Brent Moffitt. What a move by Brent Moffitt. And he's got a gap now. And here comes Crafton trying to get around for second, but he's got company. Look at it. Wow. Noah Gregson on the inside. Noah Gregson, Johnny Sauter side by side now. Coming down for the white. But it's Brent Moffitt out front. And the white flag, white flag. is out. One to go in Atlanta. The next flag will end it. Side by side is Gregson and Sauter. Brett Brett Moffitt. Moffitt out front. He said, see you later. I'm driving off into the sunset here at Atlanta for this win. Banging doors, Sauter and Gregson. And now Rhodes trying to get into the mix. But Brett Moffitt with one career win. About to make it oh, two. Yeah. Bringing it to the line. Brett Moffitt wins in Atlanta. Nice. Kyle Busch is doing everything he knows how to do to keep that 21 of Sauter behind him. And look at Brett Moffitt. He hasn't given up yet. Closing ground. Might be too little too late, but here he comes. One lap to go. The white flag lap for Kyle Busch. Johnny Sauter right there. Here comes Brett Moffitt on the inside taking a look on Sauter. Moffitt inside of Sauter. That might be just what Kyle Busch needs. Sauter for second battling with Moffitt. And here comes Kyle Busch. Take it to the pay window and cash it. Kyle Busch wins at Las Vegas. Two laps. Two laps left. One mile to go. This is the same truck that John Hunter won two races with last year. Iowa and Gateway. Great corner by Nemechek. He's able to pull Benjamin a bit. Kyle dives hard into the corner. Closes that gap. One more time around for John Hunter Nemechek. Can he hold off Kyle Benjamin? White flag lap at Martinsville. It's going to take Benjamin a... gets to him but just can't quite get to the bumper. It's, so close. It's going to take a bump to do it, I think, Vince. Into turn three. Well, we'll not see here. Still clear. Benjamin to the back bumper. Okay. You're all right. Stay in it. Stay Pulling in. inside, but he's not going to do it. It's going to be John Hunter Nemechek winning at Martinsville. That was awesome. Hell yeah! The veterans are going to try to settle it. Overtime underway. And they are dead even. Tight, real tight, real tight, real tight, real tight. Sauter coming back on the outside. Look at Haley right there in case these guys slip. Sauter to the front, barely. Crafton trying to come back, but Sauter's got it. The white flag for Johnny Sauter. Sauter trying to go back to back at Dover. For the second time this season, after winning the season opener at Daytona, Johnny Sauter wins at Dover. Guys, that's what I'm talking about. Out kicking. Yes. <laughs> this race, and now Noah Gregson is coming around to take the white flag. One lap to go for Noah Gregson. 
after having his heart broken a week ago at Dover. He's now about a mile away for putting it in victory lane. Talk about a team effort. I mean, Rudy Fugel with the call in the box. Tony Hirschman just constantly and steadily working that young man through all kinds of challenging situations. Awesome. A perfect night. He won the pole. He won stage one. He won stage two. And now he's going to win the race. Noah Gregson victorious at Kansas. Top three finish. Kyle closed the door on him and Brandon got into the back end just a bit. Here comes Johnny Sauter. White flag is out for Sauter. What a season it has been for Johnny Sauter. Already a two-time winner. Won the season opener at Daytona. A couple of weeks ago in a dramatic finish, one at Dover. And now holding off a couple of KBM trucks and all other chargers. Johnny Sauter through turn four. He's going to do it. And for the first time, win at Charlotte. And Johnny Sauter, Sauter on the inside, giving him the green, and there's two to go at Texas. Justin Haley moves into the second spot, and Matt Crafton coming around the outside to try to challenge. Haley trying to hold off Friesen. Friesen's going to have a bad angle when he gets down to the corner. Friesen around the inside to second. Johnny Sauter gets the white flag. There is one lap to go at Texas. What a great job on that first lap after the restart for Johnny. Friesen trying to close the gap. Friesen seeking his first career win. Sauter trying to hold on for his fourth of the season. Johnny Sauter holding off. Friesen, Friesen looking inside. No! Johnny Sauter's going to win it. I mean, it looks like that Noah Gregson gets close. Greg Hoffman reaches back and grabs a little bit more. So frustrating to be that close for Gregson. He closes the gap again. Coming to the white flag. Brett Moffat has one more circuit to hold off Noah Gregson. Can Gregson make a charge? Moffat gapping him a little bit more. Oh, what a special night for Brett Moffat if he can oh. hold off Gregson. Gregson dives down for the lead, tries to pass into the wall. It's not going to work. And Moffat has done it in front of the hometown fans. He just wanted your hometown, baby. Oh, when they take the green flag. Haley on the outside, Sauter inside. Johnny got a good restart. Can he clear him into the corner? Oh, Sauter got a little bump from the back end as oh. Moffitt now is going to go around. The green stays out. Haley in the lead. Todd Gilliland has slipped into the second position. Both seeking their first career wins, and here comes Johnny Sauter trying to fight back. The white flag will wave for Justin Haley. Brett Moffitt got a little too aggressive on the back of Johnny, and that's, that's what cost him to go around. 19 years old from Winnemac, Indiana. Half a lap to go for Justin Haley. His crew chief said we'd have to get ultra aggressive to win the race. And he executed the restart perfectly. And Justin Haley, for the first time in his career, is a Truck Series winner. He does it at Gateway. His dad, of course, Joe Nemechek, longtime NASCAR stalwart. Father-son relationship that you see the pride beaming in Joe each and every time he talks about John Hunter, the crew chief, Jerry Kennan and Brett Moffitt going to the bottom. This is for the lead. Moffitt, can he hold on to it? Something happened to Nemechek, Vince. Nemechek has got a problem, and Brett Moffitt 
is going to come around. Moffat through turn four. John Hunter Nemechek blowing up, and Brett Moffat is going to win at Chicagoland. Emotional guy, and I guarantee you these two last two laps, there's a lot going on underneath that helmet. The white flag waves for Ben Rose. The lead is more than a second. What an awesome job this young man did on those older tires. And a great, great call on, on pit road. Eddie Traconis, the crew chief, on the final pit stop chose fuel only and it's going to help his driver ben rhodes win one he'll never forget rhodes wins at home in kentucky and then we'll do as many overtimes as necessary green is waving who's going to win it eldora briscoe on the bottom and in finger on top of him side by side down the back stretch Coming to the white flag. Too close to call at the line. It's the last lap at Eldora, and Briscoe and Enfinger are banging doors side by side. Freezing in the fence off two. Through Matthews three and four. Who's going to win it at the Dirt Derby? Briscoe nudging ahead. Enfinger coming, and wow. it's going to be Chase Briscoe. Oh, yeah. Great finish there. We got him stacking up after the checker. Big wreck into one. That was incredible. Kyle Bush out, out front, 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 taking the white, white flag. flag. Two and a half miles to go, to go for Kyle. Kyle. Eric Jones might be shaking his head. head. How would he go? go? <laughs> I ran him down earlier, passed out, ran him down, down and nearly passed him again. And Kyle put it into overdrive. overdrive. Well, that, that was, was a great side-by-side -side -side battle for Kyle Busch and Eric Jones, and it, it was the one opportunity to see that Jones, Jones had to, you know, had, had to pass Kyle, and it just couldn't quite finish him off. And Kyle has since stretched it out and is on his way. Yeah, yeah. Jetting off. I'd say, I'd say that, that was a little bit more of a battle than Kyle Busch wanted. wanted. It is it's a story career. career. Cup champion, a threat to win every time out, regardless of what series it is. And today, Kyle Busch wins his 51st in the truck series, tying the all-time mark of Ron Hornaday. A couple of tenths and half after that leader, Johnny Sauter, last night around. They're going to be coming to the white flag, and those four are starting to bunch up. It's going to be a wild finish as Monte takes a look at his Sauter. Johnny gave my bottom, bottom so if you're gonna pass me, I'm not, I'm not sure you're gonna be able, able to do it on the bottom. You're not gonna do it on the top. Two, two miles, miles left, the final, final lap, lap. Mr. Michigan Sucker trying to hold off. Brett Brett Moffat, John Hunter, Nima check in third. A Brett might be laying back a little bit to get a little, little bit of momentum, momentum. but if both of them in the clutch is John Hunter, Nima check. Might be what you need is that that first push turn here check could be the E for my Moffat in there there. On the back stretch. Johnny Sauter. He didn't like the fact that he gave up that win on the last lap, and he's fighting back with vengeance here. Two laps to go. Johnny Sauter trying to hold on. Stuart Friesen chasing. Friesen has never won in the Camping World Truck Series. Sauter has won four times this season and is the regular season champ. It's the final lap. Johnny Sauter heading into turn three. Friesen closes the gap, but he's not going to be able to get there, and Johnny Sauter will win at Bristol. Good job, guys. Coming to the white flag. Ten turns to go for the four of Todd Gilliland. And the next flag will end the race, even if we have to go to caution, that will be it. What a strong exit of turn 10 going had. He needs to keep that cushion. He's got to have that gap, but it looks like Gregson's really closing in.
two young drivers at their best right here, both driving for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Gillen out front, Gregson stalking. It's the last lap of the race. Look at this dive into five. Can Gregson get there? He's gaining, Phil. Can he get to the bumper of Todd Gilliland? And if he does, would he move the teammate? Similar equipment, same engine program, same everything. See side-by-side -side battle for fourth behind Haley. He's using the draft, drafting up on the back of the four of Golan. Here comes Gregson coming into the eighth turn. Gilliland still holding on. Can Gregson get to the bumper through eight? Nine, and here they come to turn 10, the final turn. Gregson gets underneath. Gillen and Gregson go side by side and around. Justin Haley is going to come through and win in Canada. You call it Michael Justin Haley. Number three in Las Vegas. Who's your money on? No, something's oh, wrong with Moffitt. He Moffitt may be out of gas. Moffitt off the pace. I think he's out of gas, maybe. It just, it just, it's picked back up again a little. I think he's back up to speed, but it's Infinger at the front with Justin Haley behind him. Grant Infinger trying to secure his first win of the season. Watch Johnny Sauter. He's going to work to the outside of Justin Haley. Can he go search down the leader? Sauter in the second. The white flag, one to go. Infinger in the lead with Sauter looking on the outside to challenge Haley and Rhodes right behind. Johnny has one, stretch. one more shot at him, guys. Sauter looks at the high line. Infinger holding the bottom. Grant Infinger off turn four. Here he comes. He's going to do it. Grant Infinger wins at Las Vegas. Awesome. Great job, everybody. Gregson was up off the bottom, and Peters almost took advantage of it. And let's not forget, Michael, Timothy Peters has won races here before. He's he's very good and very experienced at super speedway racing in the 25 truck. Noah Gregson trying to keep the pack behind him, coming to the line and getting the white flag. One to go. Justin Haley with a big push from the 51 of David Gilliland. Side-by-side, side, Haley and Gregson. Some contact with the 25 of Peters. And Gregson goes around. And we're wrecking. And they're wrecking at Talladega. And Peters was ahead when we saw that caution. Timothy Peters, a two-time winner at Talladega. And Noah Gregson sits in disappointment. Well, I think so. And Timothy Peters will get his third Talladega win. He sought her into turn three. He'll take the white flag this time. Johnny Sauter, half mile to go for Sauter. Five wins this season for Johnny Sauter, and he's about to add to the total. And with this win, he will secure his spot in the championship four. Johnny Sauter will get his fourth win at Martinsville. No one has one more in the truck than Johnny Sauter. That's when you really want it so bad you can taste it. You know the victory is just right up ahead of you but there's not enough time to get there unless there's a mistake by Gilliland. Todd Gilliland just wants to make sure that, as Mike said, no mistakes. One lap left, the final lap for Todd Gilliland at Texas. He missed four races early this season while he waited to turn 18, but still expected that maybe he would be oh, able to oh, make the play. Oh, he's there. got a problem. I think he's got a problem. Gillen is going to stop, and it's going to be the 24 of Haley for the second time in the playoffs. The leaders with a problem, just like in Canada. Justin Haley's going to benefit and win at Texas. Unbelievable. Moffat starting to gap Gregson a little bit. Infinger starting to drop back. 
Brett Moffat trying to hold on, hoping that it stays green the rest of the way. Stuart Friesen below the line, trying to gain ground. Almost a half second lead for Brett Moffat now. Moffat through three and coming to four. Brett Moffat takes the white flag. One lap remaining in the desert. Brett Moffat is a four time winner this season. Trying to punch his ticket to Homestead, Miami as a championship contender. A half a lap to go. Gregson still on his tail. It's the final lap, and Brett Moffat is coming through turn three. The checkers will wave for Brett Moffat. He's going to win at ISM Raceway. Turn three, buddy. Nice work, boys. Nice work, boys. Brett Moffat coming to the white flag and takes it. One lap remaining for Brett Moffat. Moffat says the championship won't make a difference in regards to how he is as a driver. Just winning a championship doesn't make him a better driver or not winning the championship make him less of a driver. But he said, I want that championship for the validation in the record book that someone can look at all time and see the name Brett Moffat as NASCAR champion. And he is on his way. Brett Moffat is going to do it and win the championship. Brett Moffat is a NASCAR champion. Nice work, Scotty. Thank you, Brett. Look at that smile on his <laughs> You can see how big that smile is on his face behind the shield there. And the emotion in the eyes of Brett Moffat. He'd never won a championship in the NASCAR ranks of any sort. And tonight, he is the 2018 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series champion.